Head, neck, and back injuries rarely happen in deep water, but you still need to be prepared for the possibility. Once again, your rescue tube plays an important supporting role as you work with other lifeguards to secure a victim on a backboard and remove the victim from deep water. Let's watch how it's done. If you're rescuing a face-up victim using the head and chin support, maintain inline stabilization and, if possible, move to the side of the pool. Here, Lifeguard 2 places a rescue tube under the victim's knees to raise the legs. Lifeguard 1 continues to maintain inline stabilization while Lifeguard 2 places the backboard under the victim. As Lifeguard 2 raises the backboard into place, Lifeguard 1 continues to hold the victim's chin with one hand. She carefully removes her other arm from beneath the victim and places it underneath the backboard for support. Lifeguard 2 then removes the rescue tube from under the victim's knees by sliding the tube toward himself. Lifeguard 2 then moves to the victim's head and places the rescue tube under the head of the backboard. Lifeguard 2 supports the backboard with his forearms and stabilizes the victim's head by placing his hands along each side of the victim's head. Lifeguard 1 is now free to secure the victim on the backboard by placing straps across her chest, hips, and thighs. After all straps have been properly secured and checked, Lifeguard 1 secures the victim's head to the board using a head immobilizer and a strap across the victim's forehead. With one lifeguard at each side, lift the head of the backboard slightly and place it on the gutter or the edge of the deck. Position the backboard with the foot straight out into the pool. Use one or two rescue tubes to support the foot end of the board. One lifeguard gets out of the pool while the other maintains control of the backboard. The lifeguard on deck holds the head of the backboard while the other lifeguard gets out. Together, both lifeguards step backward and pull the backboard, sliding it smoothly up over the edge and lowering it gently to the deck. Provide emergency care as needed until EMS personnel arrive and take over. If you're rescuing a victim using the head splint technique in deep water, maintain inline stabilization until another lifeguard begins to put the backboard in place. As the backboard is raised into place, lifeguard one continues to apply pressure as she moves her elbow from under the victim toward the top of the backboard. Lifeguard two takes over inline stabilization by using the head and chin support, one hand and arm on the chin and chest, the other hand and arm underneath the backboard. When lifeguard two has control of the victim and the board, lifeguard one removes the rescue tube from under the victim's knees by sliding the tube toward herself. Lifeguard one then lowers the victim's arms, moves to the victim's head, and places a rescue tube under the head of the backboard. Lifeguard one supports the backboard with her forearms and once again, takes over inline stabilization by placing her hands along each side of the victim's head. Both lifeguards continue working together to secure the victim to the backboard, immobilize the head and remove the victim from the water as previously demonstrated. If additional lifeguards are available to assist with placing and securing a victim on a backboard, they can help by supporting the rescuer at the head of the backboard, placing and securing the straps along the chest, hips, and thighs, placing the head immobilizer and securing the strap across the forehead, guiding the backboard as it is being removed from the water, removing the backboard from the water.